Hey folks, it's Rick. Happy New Year, 2018. And uh, I am here going to do a friendly comparison of some of the humbuckers I have in some of my guitars. So um, I have right here the uh, 2012, I believe, PRS Mira. Over here I have the 1995 uh, Les Paul Studio. 490R and 490T, I believe, are the names of those pickups. I know these aren't humbuckers, but they kind of work because originally humbuckers were meant to replace these and they were designed to sound like them. But these are Lindy Fraylin noiseless uh, P90s. And so, um, hum canceling, Lindy Fraylin hum canceling P90s. And they, they kind of fit the bill. They kind of have that crunchy sound like a humbucker. So I want to keep them in the comparison. Um, there's also the Duesenberg, uh, which has two different humbuckers in it. Over here is the GNL Tribute Series Fallout. It has a humbucker in it that is um, it's pretty powerful. It's designed by uh, GNL. And... Um, I think that it's built in their factory, not in the Indonesian factory. I could be wrong. Uh, and then it also has a P90, but that's a true P90. That's a single coil. And we'll throw that into the mix, too, just to um, just to add it in. Plugging straight into the Gens Benz. I have it set at 7 watts. I have it overdriven. Uh, there's no effects except for a little bit of tube reverb that's on the Gens Benz. Um, it really sounds nice. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm going through a little bit of withdrawal because I don't have my uh, my effects. <laughs> but uh, this is what we'll do. We'll just go through. I'll play a little bit on each guitar by itself, uh, explain what I'm doing, where I'm switching, and then I'll have just a little track that I'll jam over uh, with a couple of them. So I uh, hope you all enjoy it. This is uh, just a, a, a pickup comparison. These are the GMB pickups in the PRS S2 Mira. These are Korean made, by the way. That's been... That's been the bridge pickup. Let's just flip over to the neck pickup here. briefly switch into the middle. So it sounds pretty good. Let's roll off just a little bit and clean it up. Kind of a low output humbucker and i mentioned in the past that i think that these uh these pickups sound a little bit single coil even when they're not split um they do a lovely uh split coil though so that's why i really like them and even though they're not as powerful as some of the other pickups well as any of the other pickups 
that we're going to look at today. Uh, I still think that these pickups are a winner. I think that um, for most of the stuff that I play, I don't play a lot of you know heavy. In fact, I don't really play any of that. Heaviest I play, believe it or not, is at church <laughs> um, for the Presbyterian Church because we do rock it out quite a bit. But uh, yeah, this is not a guitar that I need to do that on. So really, these are fantastic for what they do. They really kind of have their own voice. So I like them quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to switch over to the Les Paul. It's the absolute opposite of what I was just talking about. No tuner on a pedal board. Ah, because there is no pedal board. All right, so here's the treble pickup um, on the Les Paul. I think you can stay in tune for this little demo, Les Paul. say it sounds pretty good so as I tune I'll tell this story I purchased this guitar from end stuff music here in Pittsburgh and um, it's sort of a mom-and-pop store but it's not they're a little bit more national than that um, they're a big dealer of uh, certain brands Fender Sur um, Gretsch uh, Paul Reed Smith. So they're, they're, you know, they're not your average mom and pop. You know, they're, they're a lot of good brands. One of them, Duesenberg. They have really good videos. If you ever watch the end stuff music videos, uh, they have really good demo videos. A guy down there, his name is Mark Lucas. He's a great player. And uh, he does a lot of their videos. And he uh, he's done a lot of recording in the past. He's He's a teacher here in the Pittsburgh area. Anyway, he demoed this guitar for End Stuff Music. And in fact, it was these, this exact guitar, I can tell. I'll tell you how I can tell. Um, when I watch the videos and he shows the neck, it's got this little beauty mark here, right there, on the neck. Yeah, so if you look at their video online, you see my guitar. Not only that, Duesenberg people in Denmark love that video, apparently. Or in Germany, is when is it when it's dot D E? Is that Germany? Anyway, um, they must have liked that video because they put it on the web page for the Star Player Special. And so, you, if you go to the Duesenberg site, one of the example videos for Star Player Special is actually my guitar. I think that's wonderful. Duesenberg Crunchbucker and Duesenberg Grand Vintage Humbucker. So a lot of people think that these are like filter trons because they kind of look like filter trons. They've got this metal around the outside. But no, they're really, these are, uh, these are more like PAFs. So. 
That's Paul Killer. And it's splittable. This is the bridge or the neck. Grand vintage. Back to the bridge. What a wonderful, responsive pickup. Uh, just beautiful voice. Uh, it's not all too powerful. It's not too weak. It's just right in the middle. It sounds so nice. It's got so many wonderful overtones. Um, you know, if you just... It sounds pretty nice. Uh, let's get a little bit cleaner with it. Pretty good, pretty good. We'll check out this little dude. This is a nice Korean made, ultra affordable guitar, which I bought on Craigslist. Craigslist is a great place to buy guitars, uh, as long as you're paying attention to what you're doing. And I bought these uh, Fralin hum canceling P90s. And really what it did for this guitar, uh, it took it from being a really noisy guitar that you could only pretty much play at home because it would just make so much noise uh, to just a really well behaved look that's up open all the way and there's hardly any noise there. <laughs> But once you roll it off of here, it really does pick up a little bit of a single coil sound. Crank it back up. Over to the neck. Okay, final instrument that we're going to check out is the Creeper. By the way, this, this guitar is super comfortable to play. It just has wonderful big 
fat frets. Um, it's really light. Everything is feeling nice and close, even though it is a 25 inch scale length. But uh, here's the humbucker. There's nothing custom on this guitar. This is stock, the way it comes uh, from GNL. I'm not sure. I've heard conflicting stories. I've heard that these pickups are made in the United States in the same factory of GNL as GNL pickups. I've also heard that these are just Korean pickups, or I mean, um, I don't know, Asian pickups of some sort that were uh, designed by GNL. So it's one of those two things. Here's the P90 in the neck. <laughs> And then here, you can, you can split this guy too. You get some nice uh, teletones. Cool? Yes. Okay, this track is called uh, Soul Backing Track in G. This is by uh, Richard W. I'll put a link. So I'm back around the G and L.
one. friendly comparison of different humbuckers in my guitar stable. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. If, uh, if you're so inclined, leave me a comment. Let me know which one you like the best or the worst or whatever. I love every damn one of them. And I hope that you have a great 2018. Uh, I hope that you are prosperous and happy and that you are, um, following your highest passion, whatever that may be. Uh, may God go with you. May the wind always be at your back. Peace later on.